assalamu alaikum dear friends uh, in this lecture we will discuss the solution for the problem number 7.9 which says that we have a disk uh, of mass m and radius r roll down without slipping down in plane inclined from the horizontal triangle alpha we have inclination some like this and this inclination is alpha and a disk of mass uh, m which is m mass m take which, which is rolling down the disk is short weightless axle i mean this has axle sum definitely it will some wheels and axles of negligible radius from the east axis suspended a sample pendulum we have suspended a sample pendulum with the axle of this uh, disk of length l and this l is less than r I mean if this has radius r so the length of the pendulum should be small okay and whose bob has mass m okay the mass of this bob is small m which is making some angle definitely consider that the motion of pendulum takes place in the plane of the disc find lagrange equation for the system so we will need to find the lagrange equation of the system first let's go back to a solution so that we have a visual diagram of this and we can understand this is our uh, diagram in which we have y along the vertical and x and our disc which is m and this is the sample pendulum uh, which is mangles, making some angle you know that uh, this is the inclined plane which has inclination alpha so the first thing is that we will use the generalized coordinate given in the figure for the disc you know that if this disc this disc has this disc is rolling down in the inclined plane so for the inclined this is our uh, this is our one axis it has two component this is lying in the two uh, dimension the first is along the x and the second is y so the y component will be this is the x component which has cos theta and the uh, x component x cos of alpha and y component is y as it is sine of alpha and similarly for the bob because this bob is making some angle so it will have some x component and y component uh, so we will consider it both so if i write uh, its equation of motion and in this x1 will be equal to for the disc disc will be uh, because disc is coming down if this 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 disc and this is inclination and this has mass m so definitely it's f this is the y term which is uh, a sine theta and this is a cos theta because this is x axis and this is y axis and the length of this is total a so a cos theta and a sine theta okay then for the bob we will have l sin theta l sin phi plus a cos theta 1 because bob is attached with this bob has uh, two components one for example this is angle we have considered it to fit phi so it will make two one is uh, l sin phi and the second is l cos phi so one parallel to the inclined plane will be uh, L sin phi and the other will be L minus L cos phi because it goes in the minus direction so it will be minus L cos phi plus this okay so we have written the coordinate for the bob x2 and y2 so the total energy will be equal to total kinetic energy of the system will be kinetic energy of the disc and the kinetic energy of the bob so kinetic energy for the disc is because now the disc has translational energy plus rotational energy so for the translation energy which is equal to m over 2 a dot cos square because we know that uh, velocity is equal to r omega square so m over 2 a dot cos square plus rotational kinetic energy 1 by 2 i omega square to so i theta dot square plus uh, translation energy of this uh, plus kinetic energy of the this bob so it has two component one x and y so kinetic energy will be equal m over 2 x2 dot cos square plus y2 dot cos square okay and by substitution we have kinetic energy this theta dot cos square this is plus sine 
uh, and this is uh, you know that x2 that we have x2 so we can take at x dot which is the derivative of this it will be just equal derivative of this uh, l you know that derivative of l is l is constant so derivative of sine is cos phi cos phi and phi dot and similarly plus a sine phi and phi dot and with minus sine because derivative of cos is minus so we can take its dot and take deri derivative of this which will give us y dot and put into this expression it will give us ml phi dot a dot as common and cos phi plus alpha if we take the derivative of x2 dot and y dot it will give us this expression i will not evaluate this because this is very simple mathematical manipulation potential of the system is u is equal to uh, u1 plus u2 so for the first u will equal to for the disk u will be equal to minus mg y1 and for the second u will be equal to mg y2 okay you know that uh, y1 y1 is equal to a sine of alpha and y2 is equal to minus l cos phi, phi minus a sine alpha so we'll put this u is equal to minus into m plus m g a sine alpha minus m g l cos phi this is just mathematical manipulation then we can write lagrangian lagrangian is is equal to t minus u at this point we have kinetic energy for the disk and the bob and potential energy for the disk and the bob u1 for the disk and for okay then t minus we'll put this potential energy into this and kinetic energy it will use this expression for lagrangian once we obtain lagrangian so we can find uh <coughs> for its equation of motion by using Lagrange equations by substitution further uh, we have that a is equal to r theta because we have considered uh, that uh, if the disk uh, if this if this total length is a for example covered length is a and this disk has radius r so if this displacement so it will cover the angular the linear distance s is equal to r theta and s is equal to a so a will be equal to r into theta and the rotational inertia energy of the disk is 1 by 2 m r square we put back to this into lagrange equation lagrangian so it will give us this simplified expression then where you can use the generalized uh, the lagrange equation of motion is then given by x and for y if we put this lagrangian into this expression b or dt partial l over partial x dot minus partial l over partial x is equal to 0 and then second equation for y will be equal to partial l over partial y dot minus partial l over partial y is equal to 0 ok minus sign if we put this Lagrangian into this equation and into this equation it will give equation of motion for the x dot and for the y dot that's we have two equations a motion for the phi and the for the uh, x so i will stop at this point